Here's a simple five step guide on how to set up a cable reverse fly. Step number one, align the cables at a round eye level. Step number two, set your arm path by bringing both of your biceps toward your eyes. You want the path of your arms to be slightly high to slightly low and not quite horizontal. Step number three, grab the right sided cable with the left arm and grab the left sided cable with the right arm. Step number four, step backward so that the cables align approximately 90 degrees to either of the arms when the arms are parallel in front of the body. Step number five, utilize the range of motion where the arms are really just moving in front of the body side to side and not forward or backward at or behind the body. As you go through the range, make sure that you're emphasizing biceps toward the eyes in the end range position. Here are three mistakes that people make when trying to execute this motion. Mistake number one, stepping too far backward. Stepping too far backwards makes the motion much heavier toward the shortened end of the range, which will put a lot more emphasis on the traps as compared to just the rear delts. In addition, it'll be much harder to stabilize without any external support. Mistake number two, restricting scapular motion. With any upper body motion, we shouldn't be restricting scapular motion. This is especially true when we're attempting to do motions where the arms need to move in front of the body. So allow your scaps to move however they're supposed to, instead of trying to pin them back and down like people commonly say. And mistake number three, not fatiguing the longest position of the exercise. A lot of people will finish this exercise thinking that they fatigued the whole range when in reality they still had a number of reps left to do in the most lengthened position. 